Hello, my name's Eleanor Binner and I'm a chemical engineer. I work at the University of Nottingham and my research area is microwave processing. Microwaves are just another way of providing heat to processes that usually rely on fossil fuels such as coal, gas or oil. Because microwaves are electrically powered, they can use renewable energy and this means that they can support society's move away from fossil fuels towards net zero carbon. In 2014, I had the idea to use microwave processing to extract valuable components from food waste. Now, you may have heard that food waste is a major problem, and in fact, that about a third of the food produced around the world for food production actually goes to waste. That means that you would need a land area the size of China to grow all of the food in the world that is wasted. And in fact, if food waste were a country, it would be the world's third largest emitter of greenhouse gases. So this is a big challenge and something that I wanted to, to help to address. I realised as a chemical engineer that I would need to work with bioscientists to understand plant structures and to understand the sorts of valuable materials that we could target. And that's where the BBS, BBSRC came in. I, I started attending uh, networking events that were funded by the BBSRC to exchange ideas and to discuss ways that I could work with other uh, researchers and industrial partners to, to really address these challenges. At one of these events I met Bob Rastel and he was coming up the, at the problem from a different angle. He wanted to extract a specific product, prebiotics, from plant-based food waste, but there was no existing industrial process to do this. We teamed up with the UK potato producer and applied for funding to explore this idea. We used the funding to develop a microwave process to extract um, materials from potato waste. We developed for the first time a continuous process that is able to extract the target materials at large enough quantities to assess their prebiotic potential in human trials. And this is the really exciting part, what the BBSRC enabled us to do that's never been done before. We can extract sufficient quantities of these extracts to extract a, a wide, uh, from a wide range of different food waste materials to assess their potential to be used to make prebiotics. And the best part, the process only uses water and electrical energy no fossil fuels, no toxic chemicals. And now that we have this capability, we're exploring options to work together to um, commercialise this technology. For me, although the funding I received from BBSRC was great, I'd say that the real advantage, the real benefit of this was the, the relationships that I was able to build using the BBSRC network. Not only because I could access skills to enable me to address the challenge that I needed, but also because it enabled me to have ideas that I wouldn't have ever had on my own. It also developed skills of a number of people within our team at Nottingham, including a short secondment of one of our researchers to Reading University.